Sweden is situated in a geopolitically complex region and has adopted a pragmatic strategy to strengthen its defensive capabilities. Recognizing its limitations in terms of military power, the country invested in the creation of weapons whose main focus is on low operational costs, logistical ease, and high survivability, with the Gripen being one of the greatest examples of this philosophy. This began in the last century, when the threat from the Soviet Union made Sweden recognize that its air bases would be easy and priority targets and thus began the doctrine of dispersed operations, which was perfected and remains to this day due to the Russian threat. However, while dispersal would be the only way to resist aggression from a militarily stronger country, this doctrine requires exceptional logistical capacity, and it was based on this that the Gripen was designed. Many people mistakenly think that the Gripen's ability to operate even from highways is solely due to the possibility of taking off from short runways. Yes, this is indeed important, but what really allows Gripen to operate from practically anywhere in a sustainable way is the ease with which it can be maintained. For example, a Gripen fighter could be rearmed it is refilled by a team of just one technician and five recruits with basic training. It takes just 10 minutes to rearm and refuel for air-to-air -air missions, and about 20 minutes to do the same for air-to-surface missions. Refueling can even be done with the engine running to save time. The need for few personnel is another important characteristic of Gripen. A squadron of 14 Gripen fighters can be completely maintained by just 108 soldiers. This includes pilots, mechanics, recruits and all necessary personnel. As a comparison, keeping 12 F-16 fighters in operation requires around 250 troops in total, which is more than double. Everything needed to keep the fighters operational is transported in standardized containers. A single 20-foot container is capable of transporting all the tooling necessary to keep two Gripen fighters in operation for two weeks. In the event of a mechanical failure, the Gripen's engine can be completely replaced in around an hour, even in a location with little structure, such as a secondary airfield. As a comparison, a complete change of a single engine of Rafale takes around three hours under ideal conditions, while an F-35 engine change can take up to 36 hours. The fact that it is a relatively light single engine also helps. The Gripen consumes practically half the fuel per hour of flight as a medium or heavy twin-engine fighter like the Rafale OU Typhoon, which means that an improvised base for the operation of the Gripen will require 50% less fuel support than larger fighters like these mentioned. Furthermore, the lower weight also means that the Gripen can operate from a greater number of locations compared to other larger fighters. This happens because while the fighters weigh several tons, they only have three points of contact with the ground, which results in a very high concentrated pressure, which can even cause the asphalt to sink. Therefore, larger and heavier fighters require more resistant runways, while a lighter aircraft like the Gripen can operate from simpler locations. In addition to technical factors such as air supply to the engine and aerodynamic efficiency, the Gripen's air intakes were also designed to be high, far from the ground, in order to reduce the risk of ingesting objects on the track, which could end up damaging or destroying the engine by being sucked in by the airflow. Although it is a simple and rarely mentioned measure, this feature is essential for Gripen to be able to operate in places with little structure, where there will not always be personnel available to maintain a strict runway cleaning routine. The canards, in addition to increasing lift at lower speeds, also act as aerodynamic brakes, which reduces landing distance. If necessary, a Gripen E can take off from a runway just 500 meters long and land on a 600 meter runway. A Gripen C, as it is lighter, requires 100 meters less both to take off and to land. However, to ensure a safety margin and also taxiway, the standard runway for dispersed Gripen operations of any version in combat configuration is only 800 meters long by 16 meters wide, which means that any stretch of highway with a straight line of these dimensions and asphalt in good condition can become a deployed operating base for the Gripen. The same goes for small regional airports with simple infrastructure. 
considering the reality of a high-intensity conflict, such as the ongoing war in Ukraine where air bases are continually attacked, the ability to land and take off from virtually anywhere is a huge advantage. However, just being able to land and take off sporadically from a poorly prepared location is not enough. This must be done sustainably and continuously for months or years if necessary, which requires logistical ease that, among high performance fighters, only the Gripen can provide. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and see you next time.